one of the first cases that happened in Philadelphia before they ever got to the Treaty of, of Peace where uh, a British subject who was not signed on to the Declaration, who was not part of the United States of America at that time, but he offended and assaulted a French ambassador. Uh, he was tried in Philadelphia by the U.S. guys who ever had appointed a judge in Philadelphia to be the judge under international law and found guilty of the violating the ambassador. Uh, he was put in prison for two years and on leaving prison, he had to post a bond in perpetuity that he would never, ever do anything like that again. So they had existing case law in the United States uh, on the law of nations and these type of offenses before, before the state actually was acknowledged as a sovereign state. Well, I'll take that back. It was not acknowledged by France at that time, and that's, but it wasn't acknowledged by Britain. Uh, they were acting as a state. They were policing themselves internally. But they already had been because they were running the king's colonies for him anyway. So, but in that particular case, they they did a ruling based on the law of nations, and the offense that was done to a foreign ambassador.